Vishnupadaya Namo Namaha Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Radhikai Priyatmane Sri Sri Mad Bhakti Vedanta Narayana Sinamine Sri Krishna Lila Katane Sudaksham Audarya Mahurya Gunais Chayukam Varam Varenyam Purushamantam Narayanam Tam Sirasanama Tridandi Nam Bhakta Shiro Manin Chasri Krishna Padavya Vrudai Kavudi Chaitanya Lila Mruta Sarasaram Narayanam Tam Satakam Rapadhyay Jai Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Advaita Gadadara Sri Vasa Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram. Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram. Ram Ram. ಪಾಂಡುರ್ವಾಂಚಾಕಲ್ಪತರುಪಾಸ್ question and answers right <laughs> i'm sure we have a lot of questions <laughs> now before that i sent you a file um can you put up we will go through and then we'll start the question because this will help um yeah um so the i think we went through many uh these prayers right the three prayers we are talking huh? regular prayer now if we make this habit you know every day then you becomes a part of your life and uh, gradually gradually it will be uh, very powerful you know bhakti uh, daita madhav maharaj and then anurud prabhu you know so the prayer is um before we go to sleep oh govinda the lord of my life pranamata huh? when my death arrives and when i and when huh, you come out of my body with the last breath then please make me chant your holy name please do not forget and ignore me so we are begging krishna oh lord <laughs> i don't know what i will remember the last time last of lost breath in my life but please you make me sure that i remember you and you now please uh, uh don't forget mm-hmm. uh so this is my humble request you know like that then the second prayer as soon as you get up early in the morning huh? first thing after you get up oh govinda the lord of my life pranamata whatever activity i shall do from now till i fall asleep in the night let me do it as your service and if i forget it then please kindly remind me of this principle please do not forget or ignore me this is clear right so whatever we do we should be as a service to him right nothing see in this world we cannot do anything other than his service 
but we have conditions so but i have the desire lord today tomorrow soon hopefully soon make me everything what i do is only service to you and nothing else you know this is prayer, right then the third prayer <clears throat> when you take after you take the bath huh? apply the tilak huh? i think there is some mistake there of after the following prayer when after you take the bath in early morning apply the tilak huh? after putting on tilak huh? that's what it means oh govinda the lord of my life grant please mercifully adjust my vision in such a way that i shall see only you in every particle and in the earth every living entity if i forget this principle then please remind me of it please do not make any mistake uh or forgive or uh, so like that um you get the gist of it you know if you even if you don't do exactly but you get the gist uh, um you know and in your own sweet way okay <laughs> i can add it <laughs> then then igal kishor kishori she sent me you know she wanted the where this prayer where this eight qualities of now this is in jaiva dharma chindoga upanishad huh? so i included so so that everybody will uh, get benefit of this we have told this many time uh, there are eight symptoms prajnat uh, what are the symptom of those who are liberated from maya no so he is listing eight qualities eight symptoms which originally told in upanishad chandogya upanishad ha uh, ಆತ್ಮಾಪಾತ್ಮಾಜರೋಮಿಂಗ್ಸ್ಟಿಸ್ಟ್ರೀಡ್ that arise because of the need sense of maya because of maya we have a tendency to sin and also uh, you know addiction to that huh? because the liberated soul has nothing to do with maya he has no he cannot sin or no huh? addicted to the sinful activity he always remains young and fresh uh and one second one second Ah. Oh, so I found that that radius connection. So the second point is, he always remains young and fresh, and has no tendency to decay. You know, he is uh, ever fresh. So that's why <laughs> you should not worry. You know, looking at the. see how much time we spend looking into the mirror how much time spend people oh you know making the the white hair black you know so, <laughs> so much chemical they add and they suffer from the chemicals and so many side effects about blah, 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 blah. too much you know but um, because the more we are associate you know with body conception the more we suffer but we on the spiritual platform you can see you don't have to worry it is always young and fresh na jayate mriyate va kada chinnayam bhutva bhavitavo 
No, Anetya Nemani Shri. Krishna is saying, last time he went to no? And then, third, he never comes to an end or never dies, no death. He never morrows, huh? feeling unhappy or anything. He has no sensual desires. He has a natural inclination towards serving Krishna with no other. It is natural. Okay. Now, what has happened? It has become natural to material things. You know, it is actually it is not natural, it is unnatural. But the natural to the soul is you know anuraga towards Krishna, love towards Krishna. Like the rivers, right? Ganga from the flows from Himalayas up. Naturally it goes to the sea. Most of the river, right? All this. So like that, we is unstoppable. Whether it's American, Indian, you know, these are all designations. You are a born American, all right. But next life we can be in India, right? Maybe in India, past life we may be in America now. You know, these are all pertaining to the body, but the soul has no that designation. Huh? So, uh, because his desires are towards serving only Krishna, they are faultless, pure, truthful desires. And uh, all of his desires become realized and they are truthful, pure desires. Because they are all truth, you know, pure, they become uh, realizable, you know. Because our desires are all untrue. Because why? You might desire today, then you might hate it tomorrow, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, I made a mistake yesterday. No one will tell. No, I will make a mistake tomorrow. <laughs> right. So, um, the thing is, but in this case, when you are serving Krishna, there is no mistake. He was there before, now, tomorrow, you know. So it becomes eternal. So sorry. So the whole world, <coughs> including ours, is <coughs> designed to serve only Krishna, you know. There is no higher than Krishna, you know. Um, there's one question I forgot. You know? Oh, only when we go to Golokur now we realize that there is something higher than Krishna. No, that's, <laughs> that's not possible. Because um, when you, every step, at least in India, even anywhere, you can see the presence of Krishna. You know. There cannot be higher than Krishna. Krishna contains himself, he contains everything. There is nothing outside, you know. If there is something higher than Krishna, then he must have all these qualities that Krishna has. So who can we find other than Krishna having all this? Who has declared, you know, openly? Say, hmm, Bhagavad Gita, he saw one thing, huh? oh, must have sent out, you know. That uh, in here, so many people uh, singing, you know, all 700 slokas of Bhagavad Gita is amazing, you know. Just by hearing it, even if you don't understand, it brings so much peace, tranquility uh, to ourselves. You know, we feel elevated. That is the that is the power. Is uh, no one can deny this. Huh? So uh, then, um, continuing in the Dashamulla Shloka, huh? Krishna says Dashamulla Shloka. Huh? 
the good fortune of the jiva who is wandering aimlessly in the material world arises when he meets a rasika vaishnava who relates the nectar of hari so this is what it says. but he says he might there might be an objection if you do pious activities ashtanga yoga cultivating brahma gnana doing so many things right maybe is it possible to get bhakti shuddha bhakti ha huh? hari bhakti ha huh? um so baba ji is telling bhagavad gita ah, shrimad bhagavatam what krishna himself is telling no that is not true he says i am not controlled by those who perform yoga study sankhya philosophy perform religious duties and pious activities study the veda perform penance and austerities practice renunciation or accept sanyas perform sacrifice and welfare activity give donation in charity practice fasting and other work perform yajna chant confidential mantras go go on pilgrimage and follow all the rules and regulations for spiritual life but then if you read this wait a minute what am i doing <laughs> right here and there. so but our one who accepts satsanga we destroy all material attachments can control me see it but he can do all this but if it is not minimizing or destroying the material attachments you know that we have right then these are all useless see material attachments you know they are not this body they so where where do you learn that from whom we have done that we have achieved that satsanga sadhu 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 we saw right definition one non envious you know desiring welfare of all others and the material for from you never desire welfare for all you know maybe little circle right yourself right after that little circle family circle maybe little you know city state like that entire world entire country for all time no <laughs> only sadhu you know um genuine and no duplicity see simple vaishnava is actually simplest simplicity uh, uh, no complication no. so that's why he is telling having that and then all this it will add up you know you go to pilgrimage actually to go to pilgrimage is what to meet sadhus right and then all this basically huh, following rules and regulation because we heard from sadhu we can minimize our you know uh, reduces our attachment to this material you know? so that's why when krishna sent uh, uddhava to vrindavan you know he says uh he says uddhava is telling uh see krishna is in mathura and he is talking to uddhava you know please you know go and uh you know my parents huh are in separation please uh, specify them huh give my message to them huh? mother father nandamara yashoda 
then then uddhava he listened and then looked for a wife krishna uh, is there anything else other than this then krishna is paused for a while he says then what should i tell him or not tell him no, krishna is thinking now is there anything else other than specifying your parents now uddhava is now is thinking should i tell anything now or not telling him then 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 he came to the conclusion if i don't tell him now when i am going to tell him what krishna is thinking when i am going to tell him better tell him now so then krishna is said yes there is one more work what is that in vrindavan the gopis are very most dear to me they have offered their entire heart to me other than me they don't know anything for my for sake of myself they have given up all the activities of deha huh? and body huh? and then necessities of the body they have forgotten then he, he can imagine one who has forgotten or not caring for the needs of the body what state he will be achieved eating drinking taking bath uh, changing clothes or uh, decorating oneself you know working on floor you know air they are not aware of it no no forgotten their body has become very thin and you have to see for sake of myself they have given up their relatives house wealth so called etc and they love only me day and night extremely thinking about me. Uh, they are immersed in Uddhava. In this world, offering one's heart to others like this, he might not, he might not ever see again. How they are maintaining their their life force? Their life force has come to their net. Ah. Uh, i don't know how long they will alive that's why please go immediately to vrindava and then you protect their life force who going there give my message but what is that so on i will come back i will come back tomorrow day after like that uh by expectation of that they will maintain their life huh? because they will be thinking oh krishna might come any time he will not tell a lie no they have to be alive when he comes if you if you are not there you will feel bad you know you will be we don't want him to make unhappy 
So, so with their with that, uh, they will keep themselves. So please go quickly. Uh. So um, so this is offering oneself. Like man mana ova mad bhakta madhya, offering one's mind and heart to him. So uh, Gurudev is saying, you know, we have seen stages of bhakti, like um, LKG, UKG, first standard, second standard, third standard, four, like that in mundane school, right? Same way in bhakti also. Adal Shraddha, huh? well, but faith. No? Then association, sadhu. Then starting the bhajan. No? Then all the removal of all the anarthas, unwanted things. Nishta, huh? very strong. Ruchi, taste. Asakti, attachment. Bhava, no? prema. So Gurudev says, our giving our heart starts only at the time of, um, not at the stage of Shraddha, you know, Bhajana Kriya, Anartha, Nivruti, Nishta, Ruchi, Ruchi, huh? Asakti up to 50%, Bhava 75%. Only in Prem, we can offer ourselves completely our heart and mind. You know? So, now how to do that Krishna is explaining, huh? uh, but anyway, so all this we learn in Sadhu Sangha, you know? that's why Sadhu Sangha, Sadhu Sangha, Sadhu Sarva Shastra Koi, Lava Matra, Sadhu Sangha, Sarva Siddhi. So for that he is elaborating, next, you know what he is saying is, just as a jewel or a crystal reflect the color of the object with which it is in contact. So you take a crystal huh, near an object. Huh, then the object takes on that uh, uh, right, like color. Huh. So uh, like that, we, if we associate with the sadhu, we take on good qualities. But if we take the association of opposite, right, material, bad quality, then we also, if we associate with a drunkard, we soon become drunkard. You know, we get programmed, you know, what we associate with. See, this, this is a very powerful machine. You know, it get programmed just by near, <laughs> good or bad, you know. So, bah, very powerful machine. You know. The language and all that, you know, bah, very. Example, a small baby, even a small baby, give this, you know, this uh, Android, or uh, for example, Android phone, or some other phone, right? You only took it. So they know how to do the ta -ta 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 -ta, up and down. <laughs> Who taught them? You know? So very, very. Powerful. That's why he says, uh, root cause of all good fortune huh, is the association of pure sadhus. And uh, Even unintentional association with saintly people, we obtain good fortune. You know, that's why sadhus go, like we are other time we were saying, you know, we Nagar Kirtan, or, you know, you know, some protector the other by chance, you know. You associate with them. Like I was telling you about Jaiva Dharma, one sadhu. 
very elevated, but he heard it through chanting, tears in the eyes only, but he was moved. His heart was melted, you know. So he gave up all his designation, fish, and then he ran. He was searching for the sadhu. Finally, he did not meet him. Then he took him to Navadvip, right? So uh, like that, it can luter. You know, we will not be even a even one eleventh of a second. If we hear that sound, it can transform us, it can destroy, you know, all of our millions of lifetimes. You know? That's why Krishna is stressing sadhu sana, sadhu sana. By <clears throat> reading this and that and that, it will eventually lead to that. See, even if you have Bhagavad Gita unknowingly in your house, it adds to your Sukriti. Okay? You understand? Vibration is there. Even if you hear, it adds. Gradually, gradually, you know, we become uh, qualified. Uh, so, eventually get to the association. So that's why uh, Swami Maharaj, you know, Bhakti Siddhan Saraswati Thakur, whom should I stand? He himself went to Burma and all those places, you know. But uh, he empowered Swami Maharaj. And then our Gurudev also you know, sent. And that's why we are talking. And then, you know, so. Uh, that the power, you know. So, uh, same way it is true, unknowingly associating with materialist is the cause of bondage in you know, a material world. Even unknowingly, if you so, because what they will be talking, they will be reinforcing the bodily concept, you know. They are, you know, you and me related to this body, da, 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 like that. So if we keep on hearing our association, you know, this is what it will become. That's why these prayers, okay, these prayers, even see daily what you have to do. Some of us are not fortunate enough to be devotees all the time, right? Once a week or maybe now and then. But what about daily? will be with so many other materialistic people, right? How to protect ourselves? That's why at the time of going to bed, you recite these lokas, you know, ask forgiveness. Then it brings back association, what you heard, you know, what you read. Even read one shloka, um, like um, I will send maybe next week or something, maybe some eight, ten slokas Bhagavad Gita, essence of all Bhagavad Gita, essence of all Bhagavatam, you know, these two, and then gradually meditate, meditate before going to bed, you know. Then that way, this will wash all the association that we had from morning till night, all the materialistic, you know. So then you take rest, you know, in a peaceful way, you know. Then again get up, take that dose, okay. First you took the, take the dose of spiritual breakfast, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Otherwise, if you take directly material breakfast, then you have a problem. <laughs> so, um, these prayers, huh? And uh, so we will be protected. That's what these prarthna prayers, huh? this is. Like I was telling, oh, innumerable Vaishnavas, innumerable devotees, innumerable realized souls who can taste devotional mellows, and innumerable spiritual masters. I'm a dust, uh, dust particle at your lotus feet, life after life. 
I am not this and that. I am dust at your lotus. Please give me shelter and stop the wandering of my mind. See, our mind is wandering here and there. Why? We are not taken shelter at the lotus feet of a great Vaishnava. We are not considering ourselves as a dust at the lotus feet. That's why our mind is it's searching. What does that mean? I'm wandering. It is searching for that association unknowingly or knowingly. <laughs> okay. So mind itself is, you know, uh, is wandering. It's not happy, right? So when we give that impetus, right, to the mind, then it it stops wandering. It will uh, like that. Then. Please affix me at the lotus feet of Lord Krishna and Gauranga. No? If I have committed any offense at your lotus feet, knowingly or unknowingly, in this lifetime or some other lifetime, O oh, spiritual masters, please forgive me. Why? I am under your shelter. I am taking your shelter. Please forgive me. You know? Knowingly, unknowingly, this life or many lifetimes um, done offense please 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 forgive me see yes. then um admitting ourselves i may be sinful offensive dishonest good or bad or maybe all of this huh? whatever i may be i'm still yours Please cast your merciful glance at me, O oh, wealth of my life, O oh, my spiritual master, lifetime after life. Please allow me to maintain my feelings of belonging to you. I have surrendered to your lotus feet. Now, Anuman, for example, right? Powerful. When he went to Lanka, he, was, he met um, Vibhishan and he's telling Vibhishana. You know, they are talking, you know, because uh, Vibhishana realized um, that Anuman, he must be great oh, Vaishnava. And then Anuman also realized that he must be Vaishnava. So they are meeting, talking. He is, Vibhishana is telling, I am a born in a demonic family, you know. Right, is the brother of Ravana. How is the situation? He is telling. It's like uh, between the teeth, the tongue, right? Tongue is the softest, soft, you know, softest, right? Tongue is the soft tissue. But our teeth, very hard. What teeth has to do? It has to work between the teeth, right? Like this. Without getting hurt. <laughs> Imagine. Try to try to meditate on this for a while. Okay. You think the tongue has any eyes? It has to constantly be watching, you know, the teeth. You know, yeah, otherwise grinding. I mean, it can be painful, right? <laughs> How it is moving, you know, in between the teeth. You get the point? It's an amazing thing. Do you try always? Oh, I should avoid. Oh, now I am branding. I have to bring my, you know, tongue inside, right? <laughs> Even if you do, it's impossible. See how Krishna is being amazing. So then you think there is a chance that I can be saved. I will have mercy of Lord Ram. Then Anuman is telling, what we wish and look at me. I am a useless monkey. I have no morals. I am fit for nothing. If anybody utters my name, they will not get their food that day. See, Anuman is done. So humble. You know, if anybody remembers me, they will not get food. They will become bereft of the food. I am so sinful. I am unworthy. He is telling like that. 
Assim. No, Rupa Goswami, how is this? Oh, Lord. <laughs> I don't have even a uh, sesame seed of bhakti to you. Still, our faith that you have, you know, you can make impossible, possible, possible, impossible. That's why I have this desire to be at your, tangled up at your lotus feet, you know. Radharani is telling, I don't have even a Ganda of Bhakti to you. No. So this is the nature of Bhakti, you know. Uh, that's why Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Trunada Pisuni Chena, Taroro Pisa Ishnana, Amanina, Manadena, Kirtaniya Sadai. No. Humility. Not artificial humility, you know. When your Bhakti comes, humility. You know? Cannot help it, you know. More humbler than bread of grass, more tolerant than a tree, but constantly chant. You know, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu himself, Krishna himself, when he came as a devotee, he felt it. You know, uh, so he's crying for Krishna. You know? um, so, uh, not artificial, but anyway, um, that's why this prarthana prayers, huh? we included some of the prayers, huh? uh, forgiveness from Tulsi Devi. Even if you are not plucking and all that, you must have plucked the Tulsi leaves in your previous life or whatever, right? <laughs> so ask forgiveness. Uh, Oh, Mother of the Universe, please forgive me if I have caused you any pain by picking for these. Oh, Vrindadev, I offer my umbrellas. Remembering Vrindadev, okay? Remembering her elevates us, purifies us. Seeing her, okay? Touching her. But one thing, ladies should be aware of it. In your period time, don't go near or touch it, okay? Uh, you know, it's... Uh, she is very pure. She will not. She will not survive. Huh? So, uh, from a distance, or in our mind, we can pray. Huh? So, uh, prayer to the Tulsi. Huh? Even if you water Tulsi, ah, so much. Uh, you must give devo devo you know, devotion to her. Actually, the energy, uh, positive energy, bah, associating Tulsi is amazing. You know? When a Tulsi leaves, um, is no less than the cow, you know, of course, cow dung, you know, we say the cow, right? It's no less than that. She is also. Same or more, you know, she is. That's why we wear Tulsi Mala, Tulsi Kanti Mala, right? We say neck beads, right? Why is that? If you are in touch with the neck, you know, body with the Tulsi, we remain pure. Even though we put so many things. Like one question was asked, we remember Ganga, right? Uh, oh, Ganga, people throw the dead bodies. They bathe, soap, you know, washing, and it is contaminated. So if we collect, if we connect, if we take that Ganga water and we do Achaman, don't you think we get sick or you know like that? Right? No question. Actually, in truth, you cannot contaminate Ganga water. Okay, this is Shastra and also scientific. Okay. So don't uh, have any, any, any mind, you know. It, it cannot contaminate because it's not material. It looks material. Ganga water is like any other water, but because of our condition, eyes, understand? It is so pure, you know, we cannot see. Like uh, I was giving example of cow dung, right? A tulsi plant, right? So looks 
material, but it is not. These are all transcendental things. Chinmaya is appearing. They have taken the form of a plant, you know, ordinary plant, you know, like a leaf, huh? water, Ganga water, Tulsi leaf, but it is not ordinary leaf. Ganga water is also not ordinary water. Huh? So, um, only dam is not only you know, not ordinary. So water, Ganga water is not ordinary. People have taken this water. Scientists, okay, they un unbelievable. You know, they cannot comprehend what power is there. They are trying to do some, you know, make you know material studies. They cannot understand. Simply cannot contaminate it, you know. So even if you take that water, take it, Ashaman, you will not. Rather, you get purified. Your diseases will go away. Okay, Ganga water cannot cause disease to you at any stake, at any thing. Okay, even it might discolor this, that, mix with you know. You know we have to have that faith, you know. Even if you do not have faith. See, Britishers, you know, uh, when they occupied India, uh, they were ruling India. That time there were not many flights. There were no flights, actually. Flights started in 1900 afterwards, right? 1904, after 1904. Of course, before that, India had planes already, you know. That is different. So, in the 18th century and all that, people have to travel by boat, by ships. Even now, people travel. Now, they have to carry water because water is essential. So, they have to stay in, in sea for one month, two months, three months. Now, what about water? So, if they carry any fresh water, any river, anything, three months, mm -hmm. They were get contaminated, you know, they could not remain fresh. But they tried Ganga water. Boy, it remained fresh even after three months, four months. That's why the Aja. Yeah, yeah, I'm good. Yeah, yeah. Either yeah, I'll Aja, this may other little jail, the key, ah, Kalaja. So, what I'm saying is, sign, you know, the Britishers used to carry Ganga water in the ships, documented, okay, no other water, and it never gets contaminated, never gets spoiled, rather, never gets spoiled. So, um, because it is, see, cow also, see, is right in front of our eyes, okay? Cows are there, especially basic, pure Indian breed with a hump on it. They don't take bath every day, they don't brush their teeth, they are not having a nice bed, air conditioned or anything. Nowadays, <laughs> cold and bah, breaks my heart, you know. Very, but they look clean. They pass urine and stool, right? Cow dung and uh, cow. very pure, no bad smell. Understand? We use that to purify everything else. Antiviral, antibiotic, it is proven. Scientists, you know. Now, you take any other animal other than cow. You think. He, he will, he, he, I mean, the dog's uh, urine and stool smells nicely. <laughs> right. You see what I'm saying? No, no, no other one. You know, it's considered content, but it is only cow. See? 
that's why the krishna has you know uh, sanatan goswami says krishna has sent these thing cows tulasi olidam name vaishnavas to what to protect this creation to maintain this creation other than these elements they are there adding entropy what we call entropy is disorder right disorder increasing increasing what that what it balances reducing the disorder is these things which are spiritual you know so these are all revealed by this sadhu sadhu san you, know, you can experience it the environment gets purified by the breathing of the cows you know see we take in oxygen we give out carbon dioxide you know, right our own breath coming out right exhalation of our breath if i in all i will die right is a poison for me poison for us cows are not like that you take their exhale you get purified of so many diseases the environment become and becomes clean you know so amazing things are there so same way the uh, ganga water you know holy name right see ganga water you see see what i'm saying this is a good point you know um, i'm getting into uh, see i'm indirectly answering all your questions you get the point <laughs> you know i'm not with going through right <laughs> so um see water looks uh, ganga water looks ordinary like any other uh, ordinary uh, water right but in reality like i was telling you it is not right same way krishna's name it may appear like krishna rama radhe no you know you know but just like ganga water is so different from other water because it is a spiritual thing it has taken the form of water understand huh? same way the spirit you no know, the name krishna's name is not different from him He has appeared in this world in the in this in the in the sound form, Krishna. You know, that's why you utter something else, Coca Cola, some some other stuff, and then Krishna, Krishna, Krishna. Totally different. You know, one right releases us from this bondage; the other one binds us to the bondage. if you think of any other material things okay even if you think right the it, uh, it has its own effect same way it has the effect right see in harvard university okay these are scientific studies repetitive names of god right you know induces relaxation response Understand? If you repeat something material, it does the opposite. If you think of a, you know, like a bar, 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 right? <laughs> you see what I'm saying? What will be thinking, right? You associate with what is going on in the bar, all nasty things, right? So negative, you know, very word bar, you know. Or uh, liquor, liquor, liquor. Where well, Krishna, right? Prasadam. See, the words have an amazing thing. Bhagavad Gita, you know, the word itself has a very powerful vibration along with it. So if you ask, if you keep on doing that, you know, that vibration will uh, will make us pure, right? It's like washing the pot, right? Suppose you have not washed pot for a while, right? You have to use this powder. Like that, our contamination, material contamination, starts releasing and then coming out. 
you know ekadasi even best by reciting all the 24 and uh, 28 26 names of ekadasi alone will you will make so much progress so much beneficial you know so uh, like that without that it is not possible we are helpless okay we are doomed understand it's like well, suppose if you are drowning what chance is there for you to save yourself tell me the more you try the more you drown is it not imagine you are on top of a sand also you know or a earth you know like a very messy earth you try yourself right the more struggle you do the more you go down is it not finally it come to you get immersed and then what like they you cannot even raise your hand have you seen a picture one time i saw baba unbelievable you know in a mud some you know but so only way is someone else who is not in that place throws a uh, what rope and then you have to hold on to it not that oh please oh catch me or <laughs> no you have to catch the rope okay <laughs> rope is not going to catch you he have to catch it you have to take in you know initial thing then when he is pulling is going to be pain understand because you are already tight understand it will not be nice thing initially it will be painful but you know as it come out you know the pain will become less and less then you will feel also inner feeling that you will be saved you will be saved right many things happening huh so same way in the spiritual path also you know? uh, so the rope is that holy name tulsi ganga water cow you know vaishnava they are all like a rope okay in this drowning ocean right material ocean of material that's why see if you look at these prayers again uh five verses describing one pitiful state vignapati panchaka you know mat samo nasti papatman mat samo nasti papatman meaning oh purushottam there is no one as sinful and offensive as i am <laughs> how can i describe myself naparadicha kashchan parihare api lajjemi kim bhuve purushottama how can i describe myself i am embarrassed to admit my sins and i am hesitant to give them up remember one prayer we were last time we were talking one huh? it like this see as as i am this is our situation we have to admit it without any of this help we are like anuma was feeling like that vibhishna was feeling like that you know so then he says yuvati nam yatha yuni yunam cha yuvato yatha mano abhiramate tat tadvat mano me ramatham tvayi just as the minds of young ladies take pleasure in thinking of young men and the minds of young men take pleasure in thinking of young women kindly let my mind take pleasure in you alone see this is prayer you have to do in the morning and the evening okay so that way it gives a lot of energy it protects us from this anoli association in this see you have to continue our life because we have to working or taking care of family parent this and that you have to but you need protection so this is what it is huh? 
then bumo uh, uh, bumo skalita padana bumi eva valambanam tvai jata paradana tvam eva sharanam prabho now just at the ground is the only support for those whose feet have slipped suppose we slip right on the ground now who is going to support it? <laughs> right earth only so you alone are the only shelter even for those we have offended we have offended him so knowing the unknowing it is together right only he can be support as no we have nothing else understand we have to understand we realize that we pray like that lord yes. like mother right baby is there but baby is kicking the mother ah, this, ah, i don't like this, this that but it can cry or kick so much but finally what happens you think somebody else will give shelter to the baby no only mother Baby can do anything, huh? and so like that is is waiting for us to take shelter, cry for him. Sarva dharmam paritya mam ekam charanam rajam tom sarva pape biyamuch. I'm waiting, waiting, waiting. When you are going to look at me like two birds in a tree? Remember, huh? one bird is watching. And giving permission. The other one is, you know, leaves, flowers, fruit, eating and eating and eating. Never looking at the, the other bird who is always associating, always was there is with, with that bird. Even in this material world, Paramatma is there with us all the time, right? We cannot be without Paramatma. Atma cannot be without Paramatma. You know, is there anyone, any good, who is your best friend, who is, who can spend you a lot of time with you, right? Oh, my friend, he spent so much time with me because he cares and this and that friendship. But the Atma is there all the time, whether you are sleeping, going to the bathroom, everywhere, you know. So it can be any best friend than Paramatma. But we have no realization. We have no awareness. First of all, that's why Sadhu Sangha tells you this awareness brings out point. Hey, eh? already with you all the time. You are not alone. You know? become aware of it. He is giving the awareness. Oh, my time is up. <laughs> okay, we have a program today. Uh, to go. Uh, uh, so, all uh, then we are praying to this Radhe. Huh? O Srimati Radhika, dearest of Lord Govinda, Govinda Vallabe Radhe, huh? Pratye Tvamaham Sada Tvadiyam Iti Nyathav Govindo Mam Mam Tvaya Saha. O Srimati Radhika, dearest of Lord Govinda. This is always my request to you. May you and Govinda consider me to be yours. Radhe Vandavanadi Shakaranam Rutha Vahini Krupaya Nija Padabja Dasha Maya Pradiya Tham. O Simati Radhi. O Queen of Vrindavan. You are a flowing river of nectarian compassion. Please be merciful to me and grant me the service of your lotus feet. So then uh, we will finish this uh, five prayer verses to the divine. Samsara Sagaran Nata Putra Mitre Guhan Bhoktarame Ivam Eva Prapanna Vaya Banjana. Oh, Radha Krishna, you are my protector from the ocean of material existence, which is characterized by selfish attachment to sons, friends, household, and land. Therefore, you are known as the destroyers of the fear 
for those who are surrendered unto you. O oh, your Lordship, I now offer unto you your Lord's lotus feet myself and whatever little I possess in this world as well as the next, everything. O oh, your Lordship, I am certainly the abode of many offenses and completely devoid of any devotional practice. I do not have any other shelter, therefore I regard you as my ultimate goal. Huh? Oh, Master of Srimati Radhika, I am yours by actions, mind and words. So, oh, lover of Sri Krishna, Srimati Radhika, I belong to you alone. Both of you are my only destination. Oh, Sri Radha Krishna, oh, Vashan of Mercy, I am taking shelter of you. Although I am fallen and offender, kindly be, be pleased with me and make me your servant. Then, huh? next one. Ah, this is the prayer, okay? This is in the Archapadi, Archa Deepika. After doing any, anything, little prarthana, little puja, or anything, huh? you can do this, huh? even after Arati or doing, you know, we are supposed to do. Oh my Lord, O oh Janardhan, please allow whatever little puja I have performed to become complete. Although I am devoid of devotion, unable to chant the mantras properly and imperfect in my performance. With all this, we are asking, Oh Lord, make it complete. Out of your causeless mercy, please accept a leaf, flower, water, fruit, fruit stuff, whatever has been offered with devotion. Then, uh, Vidhinam, please, if the mantras have been improperly chanted or the procedure have been imperfectly performed, please kindly forgive me. Meaning, I am devoid of rules, mantras, even whatever little I have done, uh, please kindly uh, make it, you know, proper and then please forgive me. Please forgive whatever inauspicious acts I have performed due to my being without proper knowledge or due to my performing them unknowingly and accept me as your insignificant servant. Let my normal condition be service. Okay. Smriti Seva Gatir Yatra. Smriti Chinta Sutir Vacha. Bhuya Sarvatmana Vishnu Madhiyam Tvai Cheshtitham. Let my normal condition be service. Okay. Let my movement be holy pilgrimage. Let my thought be a remembrance of you. And let my words be glorification of you. O Vishnu, let the activities of my entire mind, body and soul be engaged in you. Huh? So, uh, Hare Krishna. In a mouth, first time, in it, huh? Wow, very good. <laughs> so, then thousands of offenses are committed by me day and night, but think of me as your servant and kindly forgive me. It's actually, thousands of offenses are committed by me day and night, every second. <laughs> day and night. <laughs> so, please. As a servant, kindly forgive me. Oh, Govinda, you promise that your devotee will never perish. By remembering this over and over again, I am able to retain my life. Yes. Okay. See, he has given that word. He will not give up. See, this is the really, 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 really greatest boon that we have. You know, suppose if you doubt, oh, what if, what if I become a devotee? Maybe he gives up, gives me up. You understand what I'm saying? Then what? Uh, how do you feel? Oh, wait a minute! I, it's all my struggle. Oh, give me up. Try to understand. Okay, you will not give you up. 
He is there as Paramatma. You see, even if you are doing abominable things, okay, he is waiting, 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 waiting. So if I become a devotee, he was waiting and uh, so much patience when I am not a devotee. You think after becoming a devotee, you will forget me. You understand what I am saying? It will be more, please, more, please, more, please. Hare Krishna. So, I understand what I am saying. So, I am sorry, I am running out of time and also some guests. Yeah. Please forgive me. Yeah. I, even though this question and answer it was okay because I answered so many. <laughs> so, but anyway, we'll go through again uh, next week. Thank you again. Uh, sorry for this thing. One cha kalpatu bhyascha krupa sindhu bhyavacha patita nam pavane bhyo vaishnava bhyo namo nama vaishnava. Shila Guru Dev ki jai Guru Pada Padma ki jai Guru Varga ki jai Guru Parampara ki jai. Jai Jai, Arinam Sankirtan ki Jai, Mahaprasad Jai, Tursi Maharani ki Jai, Gunda Devi ki Jai, Ganga Devi ki Jai. Nithai Gaura Premanandi, Hare Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna.